Pokemon Ninjas. This is the next episode of Karate School, and I'm about to get schooled by Philip here. What are we doing today, Philip? We're gonna be learning Bruce Lee's martial art of choice, Wing Chun. It's a lot of fun. It's very brutal, so hold on to your butts. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. All right, so Wing Chun is all about the center line. I think you're gonna be very familiar with this because really all martial arts are pretty simple, right? So as Bruce Lee said, we only have two hands and two feet, right? So center line is very important. Now, one of the main things in a lot of different martial arts, uh, you're experiencing karate, of course, right? Can't both right. So I know uh, just sort of, basically a lot of the blocks can be very hard, mm -hmm. very intense, uh, and it's good because it really damages the Absolutely. opponent's limbs, right? So an example, give me a karate block of anything. Yeah, for example. So in Wing Chun, it's just a little bit different methodology. Right. We actually don't want to push it away too far. All right, so if she throws a punch at my like center line, say my face, we want it to just miss. As you can see what's happening, then it allows me to go into the center line and just like attack, rip cage, whatever. So it's just a different methodology because it was actually created by a woman. Wow. Yeah, yeah so it's not, yeah, what if someone's, you know, seven foot tall brute? You're probably not going to be able to push their arm up. Right. So with that right. in mind, yeah. Strike. Right, right, exactly, right. exactly. So it's pretty cool. And you probably, it's probably pretty similar in some ways. Filipino armies mixed with Kempo Karate mm -hmm. is pretty much how I grew up with like some hand to hand combat. Um, awesome. And that kind of mixes in with that. It would be like Kuba drills, kind of like what we did in our fight scene. Seems very similar so, to some yeah. Wing Chun stuff, yeah. which we'll get into. All right, so let's show her this really nasty. Wing Chun is very mean, I warn you guys. Sorry, so cover your eyes if you have to. I would, I'm actually but, surprised by that. Um, yeah. I mean, I love Bruce Lee, like, uh -huh. love him, but um, yeah, I'm actually surprised by the whole yeah. brutal thing because I wouldn't think that. It's pretty dirty. You'll see why in a second. <laughs> it Man looked pretty dirty though, so. Yeah, and that's Pure Wing Chun. Yeah. Right, so. and, and fascinatingly enough, It Man's son taught my teacher. So, pretty cool. Wow. Let's do this. So, let's teach her the sort of basic uh, methodology of Wing Chun. So, Let's just have you do it to me first slowly. Okay. And it's pretty dangerous stuff, as you can tell, throat and eyes and everything. So sure. let's just have her throw anything to my center line. So like I said, you want to go, of course, I'm going to rip this, but you want to go just enough. So any hand you want, okay? So say I do this, it allows me to come right in and I can go straight to her face, straight to her throat like this. We can kind of, any sort of strike works, all right? So of course you can strike the throat. I like this because we're going to lead in to another little segment here that I think you're going to love and you're going to kill it. So I come in like this and you know, sorry to, smash your face like this and as you can see I'm in nice and tight so from here we have a lot of options you can keep this trapped you can do this like we did yesterday in our fight scene or spoiler you can grab like this elbow to the eyeball to the eye socket but for a sort of finisher that I love is once you're inside you're gonna step through and you're gonna step on the back of her knee here and what you want to do is we're not gonna do it for real it's quite rude is you want to <laughs> smash their kneecap on the ground and just shatter the teller tendon wow. absolute annihilation and from there, you can take them down to the ground. So we're gonna work through this. It's, it takes about one second to do if you do it for real. So why don't we show um, them from the other side? Perfect. So, so I think you threw arm. this arm. Do you want it to be consistent? She comes in, and I'm just right here. As you can see, I'm kind of sticking to this, and it's passing through. It's a it's a term we call fajing, in sort of fajing. kung fu terms. Um, and this is the difference between the karate strike. It's kind of like it's this. Right. And you can say it's not a push. It's sort of like picture this flying out at light speed and it, it sticks, but then I'm kind of just like here. I'm not pushing, I'm not giving, I'm just I'm just feeling it out, whatever she's doing. And that allows me to kind of get right inside and do this. Could be a punch, but I love this because it really messes up your balance and you kind of disorient. You oh, right. In, yeah, and it hurts and it's bad and you can do this. And we like to call this the smashing pumpkin. So after you smash the kneecap, you would take their head and just full force smash their skull in the concrete backwards yes just wow as you go down so it's really hard to demonstrate without masks but we're gonna try i would have not i would have not thought of that <laughs> yeah it's that, it, this was a technique like i said it's very mean so <laughs> please if you're training with friends you can't just do you have to be very careful as you can see we're both trained and you have to be easy so we'll try and do it a little more uh and then you can just kill me you can do it for real just kidding all right so <laughs> she punches like this and we're inside Okay, and then I'm going to step on the back of her kneecap. I'll just step past, so I don't do it for real. She's down here, and then again, you have this great options. You can, like, punch her in the throat. It's just very open. You can hold this, punch her in the throat, <laughs> elbow down to the face, and then from here, just smash it down again. Look, her whole body's contorted. Yeah. I'm probably out of frame. You can follow us with 1DX, so just lay down so you don't die. Okay, and from here, you <laughs> can be like this. I mean, this all happens in, like, half a second. From here, you just, you have all these options. You can do everybody's favorite move. 
the chain punch, you can grab her head, elbow. Uh, we like to do this, keep this here so she kind of is like hard for me to punch. Yeah. And you can just like curb stomp them and go home, you know, walk away. So we're going to teach her how to do that. And I'm, I'll help you. <laughs> I'm dead now. So <laughs> like I said, it's just rude. It's terrible. <laughs> and it's funny in the movies, it tends to be very, you know, like a beautiful, which it still is Wing Chun, yeah. but you're not going to pose like this. Yeah. You're not going to do this. So it's really cool. Um, because this is a uh, very similar, actually very similar to Kempo Karate. Um, we have awesome. a lot of techniques that go along the lines of breaking down the knee, boom. Yeah. Um, Finish it quick like that? Ed Parker's Kempo Karate, American Kempo Karate. Awesome. That's uh, kind of what goes into like the street fighting as well. Um, and now, just before he starts teaching me a little bit more, I want to clarify to you guys because I know I'm going to have some comment warriors um, who are like, well, it's not going to work in real life. Of okay, course. listen, dude. Here's the thing. Either you practice and prepare or you don't. So what do better? you what do you what do you what do you expect? Yeah, also listen. So it's so much better to practice something. No, it's not gonna go like that in a fight. You're Never. not gonna do that exact technique in Never. a fight it's not gonna be clean. on the street. It's not gonna happen like that. But isn't it better to train? Yeah. Isn't it better to train than to right. not train? What do you what, what? Okay, I'm gonna go train and street fight people. Okay, go die on the street. <laughs> don't do that's that. that's yeah. that's what happens. So yeah. this is why we do techniques, guys. For yes. those of you guys who don't know and you're commenting, well, that's not gonna happen on the street, because I know you're gonna do it. We can I know you're gonna do it. You're probably still gonna do it even I after you sense watch this. Disturbance in the force. Yeah. You still have to practice. You yeah. still have to practice. And also note that this is just one close quarters methodology Absolutely. like you should train a lot of different stuff exactly like and i don't just train wing chun exactly um i was just in china training probably 10 different martial arts it's just interesting if you Absolutely. find yourself maybe you're boxing maybe you're doing whatever and you find yourself on the inside like that it's like ooh, remember that thing we did and you just have that strike so it could be one piece of it maybe you're on the ground and they fell Ooh, i remember that so it's not it's not going to be clean but just it's nice to learn different techniques yeah. and eventually as you get through these techniques and do these techniques over and over and over when you do get in that situation where mm -hmm. maybe you catch their punch just in time then yeah. you know what to do um totally. and you're not just fumbling and dis discombobulated <laughs> fighting yeah. you have a little general idea because your body takes over and it knows what to do um totally. don't try to get in a street fight it's how you die Yes. Um, it's not fun. It's not something that you joke around about. Mm -hmm. um, that's why when people are like, "Well, it's not going to work for a street fight," I don't want to get in a street fight. You don't want to. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to get stabbed. I don't want to get my head slammed into the concrete. I don't want that. Why would I do that? Yeah, this is worst case. So scenario. this is preventing that. We mm -hmm. don't want that. Okay. So totally. I'm ready to learn. Let's do yeah, this. I noticed again. We, I did a palm strike because in a street fight we don't have the luxury of boxing gloves. So you will probably break your hand if you punch somebody's chin. It's just bone, right? So palm strike's a good choice. Um, let's show her this technique. So um, the Fa Jing I described, let's just practice doing that for you. Okay. okay, so this is sort of the feeling you want. So why don't you just throw some punches at me uh, and you can feel it. You feel that? It's not a push. Yeah. It's just kind of, I'm, I'm there. Catch. And then like you want to keep your guard up just like any martial art. You can do boxing even, whatever feels good, right? But the main thing is you want to be able to move into the center line when Got she it. throws. So she throws the next one. And I'm here like this, straight inside. It's pretty similar to a lot of martial arts, honestly, that part. And from here, you have your options. You could even just do this. You could even strike her um, if it's open like that. So just let's get her to that first step. So I'm going to throw some slow punches. Let's just get that feeling down. Very nice. As you can see, she's not pushing away. She's also not being too soft. It's kind of this weird mix where it connects as fast as it can, and then she's ready. Yeah, very nice. And then watch if I follow through more. See what happens? It makes me want to go like this which is good for her on the inside, right? So why don't you try throwing out that palm strike now, nice and slow. Good, and just try to step in. So am I going underneath? Slightly, here? yeah, yeah. So try so to step I in pull. slightly, and you're gonna just Got crank it. the head here. Very nice. And as you can see, the further you go, it just totally wrecks my balance. Absolutely. Because it's unexpected too. Um, Wang Chun is very ballsy, as you can see. <laughs> like you just have to go. Um, the cool thing is Speed. if you're on, yeah, if you're on the center line, you mess up, just keep going. So let's try again. Very nice. Now, let's try the second step. Okay. She can uh, do an elbow to my face if you want to do that one. And the cool thing is two-way power. Um, if you're a smaller person... <laughs> you're about to die. <laughs> thanks for not killing me. If you're a smaller person, um, you may not be that strong. You can pull their head in. It's very important, right? Since we were saying if it's a big gap. For sure. So this time, here we go. She's going to come in. One. And then she can grab the back of my head with this hand, actually. This hand. 
and then just so following that your, limb. Yeah, follow it right in. Boom. And look at that. It's cool because look, my hand's kind of trapped. I can grab her. I can do stuff, but I don't have a lot of leverage. And if I to, really uh, get in there. Yeah, and look, she's so close. I can't really generate too much power from this hand, and it's very quick. Right. So I can't, you know, really. Uh, I don't have the torque. Right. To hit her in the in the rib cage. So let's try it again. It all happens very fast. One, Boom. Two. Boom. Very nice. And now let's try that next step where you're gonna step past and stomp my kneecap. So to just demonstrate, okay. you're here, you kind of just step up and then... Got it. It would really hurt their knee on the ground. So let's see what we can do. So one, So you're gonna step with this. Five, fast. we're gonna take the elbow out. But you can do it if you want to. So elbow, boom. boom. And then she's From gonna step here. with this leg fast. Yeah, right and on the back of the knee, straight down to the ground. Boom. boom. And then from here, the smashing pumpkins, as we call it. So I would step back in. Uh, I mean, in real life, you would just crush their knees. Now, so I'm just right yeah. here. I'm <laughs> literally just on the really floor. Really mean, yeah. So from and then, here, I take that head, and I just yeah. go straight just smash back. It down. And you can even just wow. with this palm, just push straight down. Wow. So we'll release the legs so I can do it and not break my knee. <laughs> but yeah, you can now push down. And down. And then the cool thing, like I said, if you trap this, you can just stop wow. in my face. Yeah. Wow. And then at this point, you can do whatever martial art you want, right? Yeah. I'm just totally compromised. Absolutely. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Thank you. What do you do? <laughs> so anyway, just a cool little sequence. The main thing about Wing Chun, though, it's very, uh, it's very like, idea-based martial art, as you can see. You just you kind of do a bunch of stuff. There's no real sequence. Mm. Like you don't have to do the elbow. You could do right. You could do that punch. You could do something else. You can leave it out completely. You could kick this side of the leg. Like it's a very adaptive. Right. Art, so. And um, what I learned, at least from Filipino armies and weapons training and Kempo Karate, is that the more that you can get in the flow of different strikes, different locks, yeah. um, different applications, getting in different uh, positions, the more you'll be able to flow. So yeah. that's what this seems to be like to totally. me, that once yeah. you have that flow down, um, you're going to move. You're going to get into the movement. Yeah, um, second and nature. These techniques... At first, it's going to feel robotic. It's going to feel like choreography. But the more yep. that you do it, like my dad, he'll do something like he'll, my brother will throw a punch. He'll do something on him. And you're that like, what the heck was that? And yeah. then he's like, I don't even know. He I just, just did it yeah. because he's been doing it for so long. Um, and I, I feel like that's one of these styles Absolutely. as well, that the more that you do it, the flow comes totally. and you don't even have to think about what yeah. to do. Totally. Like I'll show you a variation just to show how easy it is. Yeah. Again, if, if stuff goes wrong, it's just fine. We'll keep playing around. So like, again, it's not going to be clean, but say she throws the same thing, I can come almost more like this, so I'm behind her. And then look, since I'm in this position, you could always choke them out. But again, look at this weird trap in her arm. You can do the same thing, I could kick, but even this just slight change in position, I could choke her like this, kind of like elbow to the back of the head, you can do all kinds of stuff. Or I could just take this uh, straight to the ground. Uh, there's so many options, you go to the other side, like, so yeah, why don't you try that? You're going to go like more behind me with this one? Here. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, so it's gonna be this. Yeah, yeah, and then if you just get behind, look at that, it's a whole different like choke type thing. You can still crank my knee, you can do whatever you want, and it's like, oh. it's a subtle difference, but it's totally different movie. Right, so right. So it's just being- and just different applications. Yeah, different yeah. So like, it's not gonna go clean, but be ready for anything. For sure. This is a new technique. So, what are we learning? We're gonna learn the chain punch, everybody's favorite move from Bruce Lee and Gip Ma and everything. Chomp, chomp, so get chomp, ready. Chomp. So it's really fun. It's a Wing Chun classic. It looks cool. Um, and let's get right into it, shall we? Let's do this. All right. All right. So it's uh, a move, just disclaimer. It's kind of like the hammer punch in the UFC. You obviously know this. Is. When someone's compromised on the ground, you're going to use it, right? And they just smash their face in. Right. It's kind of the same methodology. You're not going to open a fight with the chain punch. Right. It's when someone, you have a great opening, you're not just going to go in like this, or you're going to die, right? So you're totally open. So um, a lot of people have misconceptions about it. So let's yeah. start with that. Sure. It's a great sort of like finisher um, if you have somebody coming. So with that in mind, what you're going to do is going to be vertical punching across the center line. All right, so why don't you just do it with me here? Um, you're going to have your stance like this. This is learning from the forms. And you're going to just relax your left hand down to your heart like this, right to your center. And then you're just going to pretend there's a table like right in front of you, just sliding it across the table. Oh, I use that. I use Perfectly that as straight. A, as a. Do you really? Yeah. Cue as well. Oh, awesome, cool. awesome, awesome. I'll so, yeah, show you it's just bit. like sliding it right out across. Now, it's a little bit different from a lot of stuff because you're actually going to almost collapse this 
inward. Yeah, it's really weird at first, but it gives you that you can kind of penetrate a really thin line like that. And then the same thing, you're just gonna bring this one down. And now the difference in this than a lot of stuff is you're pinpoint laser point punching the same exact point, like a battering ram. It's not particularly the strongest punch ever. Obviously in boxing, you can get a ridiculous amount of power, right. but if you hit somebody 20 times in the face with this, it's gonna do serious damage, right? So you're gonna pinpoint this laser point. And then once it's there, this is just going to drop enough, just enough. And you hit the same exact point and the same thing. Now it's key, you must finish at the same exact second. You can't be like, right. like this because you have to be ready to throw the next one. So the speed of the punch actually comes from the rear hand, not the punch itself, right? Because it means you're ready to throw that other one. Okay? And that pinpoint. So let's try this. I'm just going to hit the same exact spot. Uh, nice and slow. Nice and slow. <laughs> Don't rush it in. Let's get it perfect first. Now Wing Chun's also really weird because we punch with the bottom three knuckles, believe it or not, for this move. Because look. What it's in this, the world? It's insane, right? But it's this uprooting. I would have never yeah, it's insane. Never. So if you're punching like armpits and stuff, um, it's very different. But it gives wow. you this nice surface area. And when the masters do it and stuff, like my teacher, he punches with only his bottom knuckle. It's almost like a hammer. Just hammering. <laughs> hammering. It's, Girl. it's crazy. And, you know, I we do. Never known that. Yeah, we do knuckle training. So you get this huge, massive uh, knuckles, like you see in the girl. Yep. Uh, she's like kicking steel poles. Yep. It's like, how is that possible? It's the same yep. phenomenon. So uh, don't do it, however, if you don't train. You can drink so yeah, the same exact point. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, right? It's really weird at first. She's doing fantastic though, but she actually has some experience with vertical punches. Great, great, great. Remember it just enough, just enough. Because picture like, you know, you're, you're, I don't know, someone's trying to grab you, you're tight, right. you have to be able to get it off. Maybe there's a stance, like you right. said earlier, you can sneak right in with these vertical punches. They're, right. very, they're very cool like that. So um, if you were to hold your hand out and do a similar thing, it's just, you can do it at any angle. It could be here. You see, it's just always, always, always coming back. It's also good for defense, too, because if another punch is coming, I want to be here. I don't want to be like in between, right. like, uh, oops, right. and you get right. hit, right? So again, it's not as good as a guard, but it's something. So you could even bring it down, like we did in the last video, <laughs> when you're on the ground, you can chain punch somebody. So it's about, I like to do it in sort of bursts like that, too, mm -hmm. three to five. Um, it's really effective. Say you kind of had somebody on the ropes, maybe right. you got them tired, maybe they're... <sighs> You gas them, you hit them right. in the stomach, and they just oof, go for it, man. Even just two, there are a couple yeah. punches. Boom, boom. Um, and now I'm gonna teach her once we get a little better, a scenario when you could do that. So let's let's try it again, um, nice and slow, together. So relax your left hand, right across that tabletop, perfect. Yeah, there you go. And then you're not totally extended; it's kind of like the little, little bend, bend so you don't destroy your elbow. Pull it again. Great. And it, you're almost scraping your arm. It's so tight. Yeah, right. Great. There you go. Now you're getting it because you're coming back at the same time. Perfect. And you can pivot with this. You don't have to, but it gives you that extra little extra power. reach too. Yeah. So whatever you're comfortable with depends on the scenario. right? Um, and then when you would use it, the cool thing about the chain punch is Wing Chun, if you didn't notice, it's completely based on knives slicing through flesh. Mm. Right, it's really mean, right? So it's based on like this, pretend you're just hooking into someone's flesh and just slicing through it. You mm. can feel that sort of like right. sinking power. So even if someone has a stance up or they throw a punch, you're just like, you're just punching through it. And it's right. like, you're gonna damage the arm. It's this bone right here, you're just cutting through it. Even if I didn't grab this, I've kind of like got in and then look, I'm kind of using the chain punch to keep her arm under control too. So you're kind of always right there. Right. So we're gonna teach you how to do that. It's called, it's, it's technically a different technique, but you just use it with the punch. Okay. So if I'm throwing a punch, so I'm you're just going to, over. yeah, you're just going right. to cut, pretend the arm's not even there. I mean, just slicing right through it. Like this heavy, heavy punch. And I could punch, I could even have a stance up, but you can just go right through it. Um, yeah. And you can step in, you can do whatever you want, but it's just like, it's a really cool feeling if you nail it. So do it to me and you're going to throw that punch. Just like that. We're inside. So do it and do a couple follow punches. Okay. So I'll throw a punch slow. Wow. Slicing right through. Yeah, look at that. And it's cool because, again, the harder I resist, right. like makes like we did in the last video, it kind of makes me go over there. Right. Because you've taken the center line. So then right. you can just 
So then you go past it with yeah. your energy. And I'm like hitting and myself. I go oh. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. So it's quick too. It's it's not that fancy, but it could definitely work in boxing, man. Like Absolutely. you just throw that out, even one punch, it's like, whoa, what just happened? So I don't know. Yeah. Do a couple more. That was well, I tried my uh, you know. That was okay. Audio? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it was Pretty good. good. Yeah. Eighty four. Eighty four. And action. Right. So if someone's on the ground, you can do it in any angle. You could do it upwards. Um, that's a cool thing because it's so tight um, at the form. You kind of go from this right into it. So it's like it's training you to kind of be ready to just do it. But the cool thing is all the techniques are really similar in Wing yeah, Chun. And yeah. they're very like tight, so you can just blend it together. You can even do chain, like other techniques, different angles. You can do it sideways. It's a lot of fun. So let's have you doing that uh, technique one more time. Let's say somebody throws a punch and you just cut right through it. And like, yeah, really focus on like, you can even throw it a little bit lower and just like, like if I was to do like that, it's just <clears throat> you're cutting right through it. So nice and slow, but yeah, throw that nice and low and just, yeah, there it is. You see how it just ugh, right. kind of like hooks me in. Right. And then boom, right to the face. And the cool thing is I'm kind of trapped here. I can't really do much yet. The next and one comes. It just keeps going. Yeah, and even if you just do those two, man. Yeah. Like, boom, whoa, boom. what just happened? Okay. It's a nice little like, throw off if somebody's boxing you know absolutely so absolutely. um yeah if you do boxing more time just try sneaking that in in my sparring sneaking match that, uh, we were just talking about that a vertical yeah. fist sneak it in in between it's right between his gloves yep especially oh. if someone's like this you're saying quick. it's not oh. typically boxing but hey it's sneaky <laughs> <laughs> get that point get that point <laughs> all right guys but, um, thanks for watching no problem and if you have any questions just ask absolutely in the comments below i just got schooled in some wing chun times two <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys like this Karate School video. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want to see next? What style? What technique? And I'll bring it to you. See Later. you in town. Rolling 85. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, my ninjas. Make sure you guys support Philip here. He taught me some awesome moves. Go support his channel. It's also a martial arts channel, yes. so you can find him. Here. Thank you so much, guys. And go ahead and spell out your name for us. It's Philip P H I L I P Hartshorn H A R T S H O R N. Boom. Subscribe. Thanks, See you guys. Next time.